Simon, a trip to Torquay tomorrow, not many tougher tests in the division. What's your thoughts going into this one? Yeah, listen, let's just say, I spoke to the boys this morning, we had a review and a, a review of Solio and a preview of Torquay, um, away from the wind and the rain of, of the training ground. Um, went through some stuff, showed them some stuff at Torquay, they're good. You know, I watched Torquay Sutton the other month, really good game, high energy, high tempo, aggressive, you know, they're all them, they're all of them Torquay. Uh, Gary does a good job wherever he's gone um, and he's doing a good job there. So they've got everything to play for. We go um, in not great form, although our performances I think have been quite good the last two you know I said to the boys I've been I've been happy with our last two performances certainly not been happy with our last two results and we need to eradicate the mistakes that have, have cost us that but in terms of our our play I think we could have really you know maybe got two points uh, from the last two games and we haven't so we have to we have to look why and, and, and go again but a fantastic test and as I've said for a while now the the Big fights are what you want as such. You know you don't want to be uh, fighting lightweights. You want to you want the big heavyweight fights, and we've got you know Torquay and Sutton to come. So brilliant for us. How has the postponement Tuesday when us playing Wednesday has that affected our preparation at all? It gives us a day less, certainly. Um, gives us less recovery. But to be fair, we've. You know, we got back in. We counted bodies on on Thursday. Um, we've got, say, gone through some video stuff today. Started to do um, some work on the training ground um, before the wind and the horrendous weather came. But we got through that, and um, yeah, we so we go there. We know what it is. We know where we are, and we go there with with a real belief of of achieving a, a good performance. I guess it was a bit of a shame that Tuesday got called off one because we'd all travelled, we'd all turned up and the other, just as you thought fans would be back in the ground, I had to say I did feel sorry for those solid old fans. Yeah, you see when you see them all sitting there and, and to be fair the ground staff, they, they work really well to get the water cleared um, and I'm just thinking we just might get this through. Guy said we see the black clouds, but one of the guys said, oh, it's meant to be a mile away, and we was hoping, fingers crossed for that, we'd give it as long as we could. But say when that sort of next downpour came, it's just eradicated all their good work, and unfortunately, um, that wasn't a be. And then obviously with the weather forecast for for Wednesday, we wasn't sure whether it'd be grass or 4G, um, which and that, which then sort of said the fans couldn't come in because it wasn't suitable from the watch if it was 4G. So, yeah, disappointing, you know. But we go to Torquay, you know, good ground, good stadium, good part of the country. They love their football. Um, that's a 1500 um, against us, you know, and a, and a top of the table team. So we go there as underdogs, but certainly one, you know, there's some fight left in this underdog certainly. We've gone to these games with plenty of fight and we're up against uh, what would be a vocal home crowd and expect an expectant home crowd who they know it's sort of last chance to lose in, in terms of the title race. It's about trying to frustrate that home crowd, keeping ourselves in the game and, and trying to get past that opening 10 minutes, I guess, where they're going to be get right behind them for an early goal. Yeah, you know, obviously they're, they're six behind goal difference, so they'll be looking to start well and and, and, and really sort of try and push home. Our job is to, to take that away from them, you know, in whatever way we do it, whether we keep possession um, or we just spin it down the sides and get after it. But, you know, there's lots of different ways to go about it. We've got to, we've got to pick what one's the right one for us on the day and, and try and execute our plan. And, you know, the longer the game get, goes on, certainly they'll be, they'll be anxious. But <clears throat> if the fans were there every week, you could see them maybe turning on 45, 60 minutes. Um, they've been away for so long. I think, uh, I'm not even sure all the Tottenham fans booed on the other night. So, you know, I think they'll be right behind them for the full 90 minutes and it's our job, you know, to be right behind ourselves. And and the boys have said before, have given me everything and, and that's all I can ask from them. You know, we can just eradicate some silly mistakes. You know, we're, we're, uh, we're full tilt 
at the minute where we are, we say we're low on numbers, but we're giving everything and we'll continue to do that. Can we relish this opportunity in the next couple of weeks to be the uh, proverbial party poopers? I know we've got Torquay tomorrow and Sutton on the final day, we, we can have a big part to play in this title race. Yeah, absolutely, you know, and, and what better part to play, you know, you, you go there against the odds, you know, against 1500 supporters um, and try and upset uh, Torquay and then we come you know back home I said to the players this morning back home in front of our fans Maidenhead uh, and then Sutton two great games you know two games where we can show our fans that you know, we're better than what we have been this season hopefully um, and that we're giving our all for them. Let's finish on the fans because of course the tickets have gone on sale now for those last two home games and there's been plenty of messages of support which I mean, bearing in mind the season we've had in the, the league position must make you feel really proud and really welcomed by the supporters and I'm sure they'll get right behind you in the last two home games. Yeah, listen, I think, you know, since I've come in all we've tried to do is you know, make us more competitive, make us harder to beat, um, you know, win some games if we can. Um, you know, when we've done that, we've certainly done that. I feel I speak to a lot of people, and everyone, you know, is saying you know, you've got you've got them going. They're going, they're going hard. They're going for you, and that's all you can ask. Now there's other bits we need to improve on. Uh, certainly our quality, we need to get better um, and eradicate them silly mistakes. But you know, it's been a difficult season for us. Um, just to get the group together and fighting is a good achievement, and and we feel we've done that. Um, and I've been pleased with their efforts outside of the odd game. Um, so yeah, listen, we'll keep going. We'll keep going certainly in front of our fans the last two games. You know, we hope we can send them off for a, for a break in the summer with a positive performance and result for Barnet Football Club and, and one that they can take with them with hope for next season that there's brighter days ahead.